Hello whistleblowers everywhere. Today's um, tutorial is all going to be based around what's called tonguing and slurring. So you may have heard these terms before but I'm going to explain exactly what they mean and I'm also going to explain about something called legato tonguing. Now legato just means the Italian word for smooth and that's the kind of tonguing we want to try and achieve legato smooth tonguing. So I've got a few little exercises for you to work on uh, tonguing and also we're going to combine that with slurring which is basically when you blow a constant stream but don't use your tongue but move your fingers. So it's important to have both of these techniques down and you're comfortable with it. Uh, one of the most common mistakes that a lot of whistlers make when they first start playing is, is that they start tonguing everything but they're not using what's called the legato tonguing, which is what we need. Yeah, we need smooth tonguing rather than tonguing where each note is separated with a little gap. So I'm going to go through that a little bit more uh, and talk about legato tonguing and also going to talk about what tonguing and slurring is. So first of all, let's just do a few scale exercises based on tonguing and slurring. So first of all, we're going to tongue the scales. Then we're going to slur the scales and then what we're going to do is we're going to do what's called mixed articulation. So that's different patterns of tonguing and slurring. Perhaps not the most interesting of exercises, but they are great in terms of helping you to get the correct um, technique for tonguing and slurring. So let's have a look at just doing the first scale exercise uh, with tongued slurred and then what's called mixed articulation. So today I'm going to be using this um, beautiful, look at the grain and the pattern on that, this is made from English yew, yew wood and um, it's one of the one of the earlier Simon Styles whistles, the western whistles uh, that I, I got from Simon um, and it's such a nice whistle this in fact it was made let's have a look at the date on this it's actually made in 2020 so it was made on just remove my glasses uh, March of 2020 and it's made from a beautiful as you can see look at the figuring some really beautiful figuring on this U English U whistle yeah it's a D whistle so um, Definitely one of my favourite whistles, this is uh, this English U one. So we're going to start off by just playing tongue notes on the scale. So let me show you what to avoid first of all. We don't want to do this. We don't want to do that. What we do want to do, sorry there's a plane going overhead so hopefully it won't mess things up too much. Uh, I've had to w open the window because we've got another really nice day here at Whistleblowers Head Q, but hopefully that won't be too much of a distraction for you. So anyway, that's not what, what we don't want is to have those little gaps. And to tongue the note, we want the gentlest of t, t. So when you're tonguing, a few things that you need to be aware of. Never touch the tip of the whistle with your tongue, that you don't have the control there. So what I do when I'm tonguing, t, t. So I'm saying a very gentle t, not a hard t, but a t, 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 t. And my tongue is touching <clears throat> the palate of my mouth, the roof of my mouth, just above the teeth. T, t, t. I'm not touching my teeth, but it's just at the top. T, 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 t. Now, if you tongue too hard, um, you're going to sort of break the note like this. Yeah, we don't want that. So it's a gentle control tonguing. So the tongue should never add an accent to the note. It should never add any weight to the note. It's simply a way of articulating, of joining notes together um, so that they are separated, but they are joined in a legato way. So not like this. The 
correct way. So again, just to recap, make sure it's smooth, you don't accent the note, we're not adding any weight to the note, it's just simply the pure note and very gently separate each note with a gentle t, t, t. Yeah, it's gonna take a bit of practice. Um, and what most beginners do when they first start doing tonguing is they, they do it too hard. And especially if you've come from a brass instrument or another wood, woodwind instrument where there's a reed and you need to tongue the reed, then you do need a bit more pressure. But on whistle, it's a much gentler kind of t sound. It, it, it's a very kind of lazy t, 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 yeah? Not a t, definitely no teeth involved, yeah? T, 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 t. So practice that, t, t, and gently when you play in the scales. So they're separated, but you can't hear where the join is. It's not, not an actual sort of separate, there's no gap in between each note. They're all joined up and that's what legato or smooth tonguing is about. So again, practice the scales when you're going up and down, practice them all tongued. So that was D, E. F to F. Then we can do G to G, A to A, B to B, and so on, so on. Yeah. So scales just going up and down, practicing your articulation. So that was all tongued. So the next way we do it is all slurred. So when you're slurring, you tongue the first note of the group, but then just let your breath and fingers move up and down. So I'll do it tongued, and then I'll do it slurred. slurred. So like the scale you've tongued, do them all slurred. So we've done D, E. to B, C sharp, or even high D if you want with the slurring. So, recap, tongue, we tongue each note separately. So we're going ta, 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 each note as a ta. When we do it slurred, we just tongue gently the first note and let your fingers move and keep the breath consistent. So we're mixing up scales with tonguing and we're mixing up scales with slurring. So we're gonna do them all tonged up and down, all slurred up and down. So um, let's have a look now at what we call mixed articulation. Right, so we're going to do our scales with mixed articulation. And we're going to do the first one in groups of two. Tong, slur, tong, slur. So what we do is we tongue the first one and then just let your finger move to the next note. Tongue the next one, let your finger move. Tong, slur. So slur is just where you're breathing out and your finger alone moves. So once again, tong, slur. 
tongue, slur, tongue, slur, tongue, slur, tongue, slur, tongue, slur, tongue, slur, tongue, slur. And this is what it sounds like. Again, we don't want to have any gaps between them. <laughs> so this is what you don't want to do. Yeah, we want to join them up. <coughs> Excuse me. Join up the notes. So we're tongue, slur, tongue, slur. So we're not stopping the note, like I showed how not to do it. So that's not what we want. What we do want is just that little interruption to the note with the tongue in, but it's the gentlest of touches. Same with E. So that's with the tongue slur articulation. Let's have a look at mixing it up again and doing a different articulation. We can do it in groups of four. So tongue slur slur slur. So tongue slur 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 tongue slur 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 tongue slur 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 tongue slur slur slur. So instead of groups of two, groups of four. and so on. So you go up to B. So with these, no need for speed. Really listen out to make sure your tonguing and slurring is as smooth as possible. If there's any little gaps in between it, yeah, you want to eliminate, the, eliminate those gaps so it's smooth legato smooth yeah okay so that's in groups of four groups of two groups of four then we can mix those groups up um, we can do groups of three if you want so you could go So that was a mix of a group of threes and the last one was a group of two. So it's going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So three, three and a two. So tongue, slur, slur, tongue, slur, slur, tongue, slur. E. So all those kind of exercises are great for helping you practice the tonguing and slurring. So scales, you can do the same thing with arpeggios as well. So if we want to practice the arpeggios, we can have a look at our D arpeggio, D, F sharp, A, D, A, F sharp, D, up and down. So that was all slurred, tongue the first note and slur up and down. We can go tongue slur slur tongue slur 
slur tongue, slur, slur tongue. So that was in groups of three. Now you can do it in groups of two. Tong, slur, tong, slur, tong, slur, tong. You can even mix it up more, so you can go tong, slur, tong, tong, slur, tong, tong. Every time we're tonguing and slurring though, we want to make sure that each note is connected and smooth. And again, good practice, you can tongue them all legato tongued, yeah? So, Mix up your articulation, mix up your tonguing and slurring and think of your own patterns. Um, there's numerous different patterns you can do. The important thing is when you're tonguing, legato tonguing, smooth, yeah? That's the important thing. Um, Eliminate those gaps and don't add any weight to the notes. The notes don't change. There's no additional attack. We're not adding any staccato. Um, it's all smooth, uh, unaffected the note tonguing. It's just gentle, smooth articulation. Okay, so that's uh, a few little exercises you can work on getting your tonguing and your slurring uh, nice and smooth. Let's have a look at a tune now. And the tune I've chosen today is one called Bula Vogue, which is a very famous uh, Irish tune. Um, it has got words to it, but this, this is just the melody of the tune. And it's written in 3 4, so we count 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Uh, so, however, it doesn't come in on the, on the first beat, it comes on, on the third. So we count 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So we're coming in on beat number 3. And as you can see from the music, I've written some slurs in. So whenever you see a slur, which is just a line or a curved line above or below a grouping of notes, what it means is that you tongue the first and then you, you just move your fingers to slur the second one. So let's have a look now at Bula Vogue. So because this tune is aimed at beginners uh, and people just wanting to practice tonguing and slurring, um, I'm not adding any ornamentation in this, any cuts, taps, rolls, crans, whatever. Um, all I'm going to do is just the plain notes because we're going to focus on this tutorial simply on tonguing and smoothing, sorry, tonguing and slurring and getting a smooth joined up sound. Okay, so let's have a look at um, the first bit of Bula Vogue. So we're going from the top. One, two, three, one, two. So that's our first phrase uh, and when I'm playing it slowly uh, if you look at where I'm breathing that's also very important we want to breathe so it doesn't affect the flow of the tune so I'm gonna just nod my head when I'm breathing one two
So that's our first major phrase, which is broken into two halves. So let's try that again. So one, two. To the E we take a breath and then we come in for the next phrase. So that's the whole of the first A part. Um, lots of repeating patterns in this and the A1 and A2 are very similar in sound and in structure it's just the ending which is slightly different so I'm going to put my click on let me just try and find my click here it is uh, so let's put the click on nothing too quick uh, okay let's do it at around about 72 should be good bum. Okay, so it's it's almost like you, 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 you're lilting it, you're singing it, and this is the kind of thing we want. We want the smooth articulation that you would get if you were just humming it. So, 72, here's the first part of Ghoul of Oak. One, two, three, one, two. So that's our first part of Bula Vogue. Let's have a look at the second bit now. So again, we've got lots of repeating phrases. So immediately, tongue the D. So that's the last note on the fourth line. So there, in the second bar of the fifth line, we have three notes which are tongue slur slur. So those three notes are joined together. So, tong, tong, slur, tong, slur, slur. So, tong the first, move your fingers, move your fingers to get the third. And again. So, next bit. bit is really just a repeat of the first part. Okay, let's try the second half at 72. Two, three, one, two.
So that's A part and B part, all with the correct tonguing and slurring. So let's put that together and play it through. I'm not going to put it on a click, I'm just going to play it through without the click. <clears throat> and so you can hear the smooth legato tonguing in action and also the slurring. So it's good to practice the tonguing and slurring and this tune is ideal to, to practice that. Again, no fancy stuff, just playing the tune with the correct mouth articulation, the tonguing and the slurring. So here we go. One, two. So thus concludes our tutorial on tonguing and slurring and also going over the tune Bula Vogue. Beautiful tune, there's so much you can do with it. Uh, I suggest you listen to some, some different versions of it. It's such a really evocative uh, air and it's a really popular one. And there are words to it and I know it started life as a song but um, this is a beautiful air. It's a tune that works both as a song and, and, and as an air as well. So have a go at tonguing and slurring. Work on getting the smooth legato tonguing because that's the kind of tonguing that we're after. We don't want the, uh, any gaps between the notes. So practice those scales. Practice going up and down the scale, tonguing, then slurring, and then mixing the tonguing and slurring. Mix the articulation. And uh, just no need for speed with any of this. Take your time. We want to get the technique. We want to get the sound correct first before we really um, do anything with speed. Speed is the last thing to think about. So take your time with these exercises. Okay, folks, that's it. Um, thanks for sticking through and I hope you found this helpful and I hope you found it useful. Uh, if so, if you would like to subscribe, that would be immensely beneficial for me. Um, really appreciate if you could subscribe, that would be wonderful. Uh, like the video and please do share with those people who you think might find it useful. Um, okay, so comment, leave comments that I really appreciate. It's always great to hear from you and from your suggestions and your comments. Always, that's what makes the community and that's what makes this uh, Whistleblowers channel uh, just that bit better is when you comment or when you make suggestions yeah it's I'm fully interactive folks so uh, yeah if you feel that you've got something you'd like to add to or say or suggest please feel free to leave comments okay that's the end of this tune breakdown and tutorial on tonguing and slurring um i shall have a f uh, another one coming up fairly shortly as i said i've got a bit of time uh, this month so i'm gonna make Hey While the Sun Shines, which it is doing at the moment at uh, Whistleblower HQ. We have another summer's day, so the um, awful wet, cold weather went away. It only lasted a day, and we're back to some really glorious sunshine. Not too hot, but we do have some lovely sunshine. So I'm going to go take Doggo out for a walk and enjoy uh, what good weather we have today. So you stay well, folks. Stay safe, and I shall see you all very soon. Bye for now.